in the early days, uh, as I said, uh, the company that I, I had uh, before the co first company that did Scrum was using a predecessor to the Scrum model, and we were located right adjacent to the MIT campus, and I, I actually hired people out of the MIT Media Lab, and, and that was at the height of the MIT Media Lab, where they were building really cool things that could be demonstrated, and their motto was demo or die. So we started Scrum, we said one of the most important things that we need to do is demo, demonstrate actually working software in a way that the people who would use that would really experience it. They couldn't experience all of it, but any features that we worked on during that sprint, they could see them and they could use them. And ideally it would get them excited and they would give us a lot of input on what to do next and how to do it. So that demo became a critical part. In fact, the first Scrum team had problems with its first demo. They were doing a month-long sprint, and we decided to actually do a demo every week. And uh, I would get people from the surrounding engineering community for other companies, you know, some of the technical experts from other companies to come in every Friday, and our team would do a demo to them. And they would do things like say, why are you building it that way? Haven't you looked at what Microsoft or Borland is doing to that? You know, the way you've built that really sucks. And I, my, my team would be, after that meeting, they would all put their heads on the table and they would say, we don't know if we can do another one of these demos. And I would say to them, you know, you have a choice. You can be just another software development team or you can be a great team. And to be great, you need this feedback. And so they would pick up their heads and say, okay, we'll do one more demo. <laughs> so you can see how critical this would be to build a really cool product, having that dynamic feedback from people who really understand what needs to be built. Uh, now, at the same time, we would meet after that demo, we talk about, well, how can we do better in the next cycle? That review of, uh, has come to be called a retrospective, where the team goes through, okay, what have we done? What, what did we like? What we didn't like? What are the process improvements that we can make? Um, and so the retrospective follows uh, right after what we've call, come now to call the sprint review or the demo of the product.